season, the Chicago Bulls have been the shining stars of the NBA. Only in their wildest of dreams could they have imagined winning 70 games. And as this historic season comes to an end, they cannot lose focus because this is what the whole season is about. is the NBA on NBC. It is a 55 degree overcast day in the Windy City as we get set for the NBA Game of the Week. The usual capacity crowd, better than 21,000 turning out of the United Center for the Indiana Pacers and the Chicago Bulls. Cobwebs and his locker and uh, all over uniform number 54. The Indiana Pacers controlling the opening chip. Five in their last game Thursday night here at home. They clobber Detroit 110-79 and Michael George gets it going. Pistons played without Grant Hill and uh, Joe Dumars, and uh, that was a blowout. Here's Workman, and he's tied the game at two. Fourth and final meeting of the regular season between these two teams as McKee gives the Pacers a 4-2 lead and with 40 points. A decided mismatch at the Chicago end. Michael Jordan against Jackson, but not this time. The steal nicely by Mark. But could not put it down, and then recovers. And hits. Mark Jackson doing it off the steal from Michael Jordan. Mark Jackson trying to put pressure on Michael, which is something that Larry ja uh, Larry Brown wants to put pressure on all the perimeter players. Chicago, and Michael uh, Mark Jackson missing that easy layup, but staying with it and just out hustling Tony Kukoc, and yet another jump shot for the Pacers. The Boston Celtics all-time best home record, set back in the 85-86 turning it up defensively, trying to get himself and the team going with some defensive pressure. There's a little bit of fear there as what well. Rick Smith's a nice move into the lane. Times here in Chicago, eight of the last nine. Scotty Pippen with a post up, taking advantage. Odd workman. Jackson going to the reverse. Back comes Jordan, has a three on two. The one away for Kukoc, and he was fouled season for Mike Fratello and the Cavaliers. Nice pass and Davis gives the Pacers a four-point lead. In Boston, that is based on the Knicks sweeping the Pistons this year. And the Pacers now lead 10-8. Since Dale Davis does as well, who is a good shot block. The block by Longley, but a foul. Foul is called. The Pacers playing in effect with two point guards. Nice execution there between Haywood Workman and Dale Davis on the slow rotation by Chicago. And Michael just putting it into another gear and rising up. The big men were there, but they just didn't slide over to cut off the path of Michael well enough. Two coaches pants broken up. Longley. Yes. Longley with a second field goal. On a three-on-one, we've seen already a couple of three-on-twos. Longley knocked it away. Dale Davis on the break. Three-pointer for Tony Kuko. This year we're 37 and 0. They had won 44 straight in the regular season, dating back to last season. Longley on the break. Luke Wallace is getting out and running at every opportunity. Part. Derek McKee does not fit that role. Neither does Mark Jackson or Haywood Work. Another three for Kuko. Need no run by Chicago. Nice move by Smith. Davis with the tip. Now we're seeing two of the best offensive rebounders in the business. First quarter. Longley. Jordan went for the tip and they not been able to convert. Chicago kept it alive on the offensive glass. When his vision does clear, he will wear protective eyewear. Jordan for Rodman. And Rodman with a hit moving down to the left wing side. A quick strike at the other, other end. Probably better than any team in the league. Crowd looking for an offensive foul as McKee was, was able to hit. Well, Dennis Rodman always hanging on the doorstep. Actually, Michael Jordan keeps one alive as everybody in the blue shirts standing flat-footed, and Dennis Rodman gets the easy tip. And Dennis doing what he likes to do in that transition, getting out and running, and when he does, his teammates will find him. 
And Jack Haley, soon to get in this game, appreciative of his teammate, Dennis Rodman. They get back, two and a half remaining in the first quarter. Rick Pierce, and the Bulls now lead 22-21. Kukoc for three, he hit two early, and Rodman with the rebound. And here's Kerr giving it up. Jordan from downtown. McKee running at Michael Jordan made contact, so a potential four-point play for Michael. A little roll reversal here as Steve Kerr did the tration that time, drew the defense and kicked out to the three-point shooter. Michael Jordan, who is shooting the three very well this year at 43%, but normally it's the other way around with Kerr on the receiving end. Steve Kerr coming into today's game second in three-point field goal percentage. Smith's able to get down deep. Five, 10-3 run by the Pacers. Here is Judd Bushler. Three-pointer for Bushler. One for both these ball clubs. Rodman with a rare outside shot. Edwards with the putback. Brown on the penetration. And time has run out on the Pacers. Would not have counted. At the end of one after one, it's the Bulls 30 and the Pacers 27. Randy Brown shaking up. Bulls trainer Chip Schaefer out to take a look. So one quarter is complete. Good shooting quarter for both clubs. The two rebounders, Dale Davis with four, Dennis Rodman with six. Bulls by three. You're watching the NBA on NBC. There's plenty of basketball to be played for this edition of the Chicago Bulls team. Open shot out. Rodman able to keep it alive and foul. Oh, he's pumped up. Hey, every minute he's on the floor, he's pumped up because he has one goal in mind, and that is get every rebound. Well, Dennis Rodman, not only defensive rebounds, all of a sudden he becomes an offensive threat by starting the fast break, getting out and going, and Antonio Davis not doing a good enough job here. That won't get it done with Dennis Rodman. You almost have to block him out like an offensive guard in football. More misses and rebounds. Averaging just under 15 per game. Season on the final day, beating on that left shrimp. I think he has to go 10 for 12 from beyond the arc today. Uh, part of uh, Bullet fans with uh, Legler out of action. Here's Brown. Randy Brown with his first field goal. That is stroke more than anything else. Foul on Kerr. Nice stroke by Best. And back comes Best. Oh, no. putting the move on. It counts and the foul with Pharrell and Antonio Davis on the front line. Here is Best again. Beautiful, quick release. The only team to do it. Best with some nice moves. That's slapped away by Brown. Brown with the steal. Leading Bushler. And the Bulls are getting some quality minutes from Randy Brown. The Pacers. Bulls whipping it around. Brown coming up short. John Sally, who just checked in, was able to put it home. On the part of the Chicago Bulls in these final two games for a spot on the playoff roster. Oh, best is on fire. He has scored the last nine points. Rebounded by Antonio Davis. The Bulls 42 and the Pacers 41. Playmakers, but they don't have the spot up shooting out on the floor, which makes their offense go. Randy Brown with a second basket. Kukoc with the mismatch on Jackson. And gets the roll. Tony Kukoc with eight points. Injured list with tendonitis of the left knee. Jackson. Yes. Mark Jackson cuts it to a two-point Chicago lead. Pharrell. Nice move. And converts on the reverse. Wayne Pharrell has tied the game at 46. Pharrell putting moves on Pippen. He got the step of the move to his left, but Sally over to help out. Two minutes to go, first half. Two minutes to go, first half. Sally over to wrap it down. 
Michael Jordan, strong move, able to take that long stride, get up into the air, and John Sally kept his eye on the play all the way. Michael just able to clear space with that quickness to get away from Antonio Davis, and Dale Davis not putting the body on Sally. Jackson. Pippen, by Pharrell. Scotty Pippen with a nice turnaround move. Nice pass. Move. Setting up Davis. Antonio Davis cuts it to a one-point Chicago lead. And Pharrell. Pharrell with the shot. Wayne Pharrell has provided a lift. Force or else you can, you can get injured if you're not uh, playing all out. And that is it for the first half. With the Pacers leading the Bulls 52-50 here at the United Center. Coming up in a moment, Bob Costas and the Prudential Halftime Report. Right after these words. Derek McKee played only 10 minutes in the first half. Goes to the spin on Kuko. And Rodman to the rebound, his ninth rebound of the day. Pippen to three. And it comes back to Kuko. Here's Pippen to the drive. Oh, nice rebound. Switching hands in midair and going with the left hand. Smiths, yes. Rick Smiths with his third field goal. He has eight points. Still a good defensive job that time by Luke Longley. He took away the middle. Mark Jackson with the quick hands on Jordan, but Michael able to get it. Jackson stole one earlier. Dale Davis able to retrieve. That was not the pass he had in mind. Jackson with the look away, picked off by Kuko. Pippen thought he was fouled. Here comes Workman. McKee. McKee going glass, and the Pacers up 58-55. Jordan with the spin. Yes. Michael Jordan. Heading to the hole. And Jordan has come out very aggressively in the third quarter as he does hit the outside shot. Both players were, were hoping and anticipating eagerly that see his first action of the season. Dale Davis by three. Well, you can see the competitive juice is flowing now for the Chicago Bulls. They just don't want to lose, period. Two coach. 6-18 remaining. In the third quarter, here is Jordan putting the spin move on Jackson. And then Tony Kukoc. Kukoc able to drain another three-pointer. 11 apiece for Jordan and Kukoc. We'll be back in Chicago in a moment. Point, they were 37-0 here at home. 44 straight, dating back to last season in regular uh, season play. Bill Walton was telling me he and Larry Bird actually had a fun conversation with Jordan. Ties the game at, at 64. To the facts, figures, and numbers of basketball. Nice shot. Struggle by Jordan to get the step. And he is very much into this third quarter. Jackson with a beautiful move. It counts. And the foul. Jackson with the step, able to penetrate, fouled by Rodman. Well, after the free throw situation, the Bulls putting a backcourt pressure on Jordan, gambling on the play, and Jackson took advantage of it, smartly drawing the bump from Dennis Rodman, a defensive rebounding and good team defense. However, flying right back to put it down of the 19 here in the third quarter. Jackson. Rick Smiths with the slam. Well, Michael getting that nice backdoor feed from Luke Longley as the defense. Dale Davis unable to get over there in the weak side in time as Michael able to take off from some distance and finish off the play. Look out below. So 4.04 to go in the third quarter. And Michael beginning to heat up. 19 points in all. The Pacers lead by one. Jordan got the step but could not hit. Oh, look at that. Making 
contact with Jackson going for the steal. And the foul is called. That's three on Steve Kerr. Remaining third quarter. The steal by Jackson. Jackson with Jordan back. Able to find Dale Davis. Percent the shooter. Normally will make that kind of basket, but that oh. kind of basket, he's got that. Longley with a bad pass, and it results in the breakaway by Pierce. The lead. Brown trying to get the Bulls going. Here's Pippen. Three point in the Adelaide. Oh. Clapping your two hands in shark fashion. Jackson. And the tip by Smiths. To a lead by five. Longley with a pretty bad pass. With rebound number 13, here's Jordan going around the key, and this grab, he was fouled. Pearson and Key did not want Jordan to get off that shot. Didn't cut hard enough. Hartman with another offensive rebound. Here's Curry for three. Quarter. Dale Davis. Turned back by John Sally. by Dale Davis on the short shot from Antonio Davis. So after three quarters here at the United Center, the Bulls and the Pacers are tied at, at 77. Here's another look at it. The shot coming up short. Dale Davis followed it right throughout and was able to beat the buzzer that ended the third quarter. The Pacers and Bulls, even at 77. As we head to the fourth, we'll be back after these words from your local station. Well, Kerr is now two of four from three-point range. Here's Best putting moves on Bushler and ends it with the finger roll. Rebounding in, John Sally, really the only strong rebounder, if you can call him that. Nice play by Shukov. Worth is sitting down. Played 26 minutes, which is more than he said he played. The recovery by Dale Davis. They injured Reggie Miller. Shot clock down to two. By Kukoc to bail out the ball. Now give it to me, your best playmaker, and that's Tony Kukoc out on the floor right now. Derek McKee has found the reins. 81. The lead for Kukoc. Randy Brown combining with Tony Kukoc. Coach is third. Now both teams are very alert that went over play to make those backdoor cuts and make the passes. And the reason Randy Brown able to get this one up there, no ball pressure from Fred Hoiberg. Nice play, Tony Kukoc. 8-12 remaining of the fourth. We'll be right back. Timing of the offense. Here's Best. He got the step. It counts. And the foul. Travis Best with 13. That is a career high. And he will go to the line. Well, Larry Brown has to be thrilled with the kind of game that Travis Best is having. The Indiana Pacer organization has high hopes for this young man. Of course, it's going to take a lot of playing time to, to get that experience. And stand right now, it would be Indiana Detroit in the first round of the playoffs. Best for Holberg! And the Pacers lead 89-85. The Knicks need a win tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon in Boston to uh, wrap up the fifth spot. Kylie's team not only in fast break situations, but in penetration in the half court as well. Smith's backing Edwards and hitting. Plus the foul. The basket counts and Smith's to the line. The foul by Edwards. Now both teams being very aggressive offensively in trying to take the ball to the basket. Here Smith's on the nice little pivot and drop step to the baseline for the jump hook, but the defenses have been equally aggressive, but overly so, because they're just hacking away at anybody who makes a move towards the hall. Taken by Johnson. They don't take a lot of shots, about 75 a game, whereas the Bulls do 85 shots a game on the side on Mark Jackson. Offensive foul. 
leading to a timeout with 2.53 remaining in the fourth. Indiana leads by five. Open shot for Johnson. And the Pacers have opened up a 98-91 lead. Not able to hit the three. Good coach, pass it right back to him. Was a 10 of 24 from downtown. who was saying he got hit on the wrist. A lot of people will say hand is part of the ball. Michael Jordan right up there, and you Hollins with a good angle on it. Michael very unhappy with the call bar. But what I really enjoyed is both coaches letting their teams play with the furious comeback effort of the Chicago Bulls. Johnson, an excellent free throw shooter, just under 90% from the line. And he's given the Pacers a one-point lead. Indiana 100 and Chicago 99. Michael Jordan continues the discussion with Hugh Hollins as a timeout is taken with five tenths of a second remaining. Percent one for one today, and yes, that's exactly what he does. As time has the Indiana Pacers. The only team to defeat the Chicago Bulls twice this season. Chicago trying to call timeout. Did they get the call? Pacers were walking off the floor. The horn sounded. Hugh Hollins and Tommy Nunez discussing it. The Bulls felt that they called timeout. Well, they're putting up three tenths of a second, oh. which means it would have to be a tip. But actually, Judd Bushler got the rebound and wheeled and tried to throw a length of the court shot. So, three, now they say two tenths on the second remaining. We'll be right back. And now Kukoc looking to throw it in for a tip. Here he is. Got hit the rim. <laughs> yes, that will do it. And the Boston Celtics remain by themselves. In terms of best home record of all time at 40 and 1, the Bulls 39 and 2 at home. The other end. As the Pacers beat the Bulls 100 to 99.